Hey guys, so um, coming with a quick vlog. So I had to make sure that the sound was on. Um, I don't know if this, like if this is going to be upside down or not because um, I'm doing it differently. I'll try turning it around. Um. Yeah, you see the whole hand thing? That's just not cute. Okay. So, yesterday I was talking about friendships. I was talking about... <sighs> what... kind of friendships you have. What they mean to you in your life. And, um... When they basically fit in... in into your life. Um, lighting is pretty crap. It's raining outside. Um, I'm doing it on my phone, so boom. I don't know what else to say. Um, so. I've just been thinking even more about it today because there's a lot of people who will be your friend when it goes their way and things work their way and they can take advantage of your situation and be okay with stuff that you do whereas um normally how that I'm gonna turn around whereas normally oh that's even worse oh hey yay yeah I am hey guys um I don't know which I'm facing I just flipped it around um but well, whereas normally they just, they basically use you and abuse you. You know, it's to either lose the weight or gain weight or shop some more or exercise or jump some more or just whatever it is. There's always something. There's quite never not anything if you know what I'm saying so I'm about to have a drink this is mango juice in my hand just FYI hold on Sorry for those of you that were offended at my juiciness. You know, are you gonna go just there? That's my husband's favorite song from Big Small. <laughs> he just loves it, he loves it. Um, anyway, so point is, people in your life will come and they will go. And there's literally nothing you can do about it. It has no reflection on you. It has no reflection on where you are as a person. It has no reflection on anything you do. It just is how it is. Um, I told you the social services lady came by yesterday, um, Miss Oak Williams, and, um, she's all like today, you know, talking to my kids by themselves, and then she's like, you know, I don't know, because I'm conflicted, there's no, there's nothing wrong with the kids, and, you know, they seem to be strong and 
everything is fine and it just so happens that maybe if you go on the chat but I was just like listen yeah whatever you think you, you you're gonna do how about you try something else before do you know what I'm saying it's like just jumping I'm just gonna leapfrog over three things and be like boom and it makes sense whereas actually it doesn't because where's Evan and it was based on certain things which I will not discuss because that is my private life but it brings you down to what friends are who friends are it also brings you down to yourself because you then have to realize and understand how bad your addiction is and even if like in my case I did understand it, I do understand it, it was, it's still not being acknowledged, I called one support today to speak to Carol, because she's one of my current so social worker, um, like one housing support worker, and um, it was just like, Number one, getting hold of her has been a problem. Secondly, I was, you know, told by this woman called Judith, who is the manager of how awesome she is and how great she is and how awesome she is. And, and I care why. Because you're not doing a good job at what the fuck you're supposed to be doing with me you know you're really fucking up so I was not I've not been a happy bunny today and this is just my life shit because it does all tie in to wait I've got these little fuckers jumping from fucking fence to fence and they they just fucking they're pissing me off but anyway um point is this is just the fact that at the end of the day the system in the UK does not work I don't I live here and even Syria is like I would never ever come over there because even she as a state side person can understand that the system just doesn't work I would need to put my children in child protection to get shit done why, why, why? when there's no reason for them to be in there when they when they when when there's no concern for them i just i just oh my god it's just checklist and they have to tick it off and and it's not like these people don't get paid a lot of money you know don't play me because they get paid a hell of a lot of money they are like they start they're starting selling he's like 28 to 25 thousand a year do you know what I'm saying? Like, they get money. They get money. So, I'm really annoyed. But, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And, I just want to say, again, bring it back up. Be careful who your friends are. Watch who you mix with because even the people, well, I knew from the start that they wouldn't really last. 
because I have this thing where I intuitively understand something and I knew that that just wouldn't last and it happened does it bother me? truth is no it really doesn't does the lighting bother me? yes in all honesty my lighting right now is so crap it's bothering me because I have like this awesome lip, lip, lipstick on with this great gloss my skin is looking boom and I look like I'm crazy I literally look like I'm crazy and I'm not happy I'm not happy uh, I need to get a Nikon I really need to get something but I just sure it's about saving up for shit because someone always needs something in this house but moving on from that um just be careful especially while you're busy going through the weight loss who you surround yourself by because there will be some people that will be jealous of you because you're losing weight then there will be some who will support the weight loss then there will be some who will just blatantly hate you for losing the weight and you're just like what what, what the hell like i'm always supposed to be the fat girl on the side you know fatty fatty two by four can be fast again you do so what i was trying to say was cafeteria door but i just come about to say it so i didn't say it and it just didn't bother me um i'm 12 minutes in i've said a whole lot of nothing but just from our conversation from yesterday guys seriously like be very careful who you surround yourself with when you start losing the weight because you're gonna lose a lot of people a lot a lot of people and you're gonna change how you feel is gonna change how you are how you perceive yourself the way you look at yourself is gonna change you know you're not going to be dependent on anyone anymore because you want to understand that their relevance is irrelevant so be careful that's what i'm saying anyway 13 minutes out it's going to take like 100 minutes to load so one up people peace out have an awesome weekend probably load on monday and i will see you then is this the